Petrucci has a following of famous devotees. I think the clothes are utterly beautiful, wearable. The techniques employed are second to none. He's a great designer. He's a brilliant man. I love these clothes. I mean, I just, the jackets were, were stunning. He calls from the past, but he oh, also yes. predicts the future. I think that, you know, it's important to embrace history and learn wow. from it and then reinvent it. I'm honored that Patti Smith allows me to dress her because she is a, an iconic figure in our civilization. What's your favorite piece? Oh, I have it. The black velvet sheath with the white organza anemones coming out of the back of it. And it's shown with the two ivory no faces that are 18th century. What about the pink? The pink has two sides to it. It's tempered with that black cage in the caroscuro of black and touches of what? And bright pink. Did you like the black sables? The black sables were stunning. We had to come up with a way in which sable could be done in a new way. Dye sable black and make it sexy. And it was sexy, but what's really interesting is when we interview you six months ago, you were doing a drawing and you said, oh, I'm not really sure. Drawing? You were doing a drawing. I'm not really sure we're going to do this. The drawing was of the black sable, okay? Really? The second one. You were yes. there when I was getting? Wow. Yes. From inspiration to coming through your fingers <laughs> to the runway. Well, that's really intelligently put. A, I don't take responsibility for doing this myself. I am so plugged in to higher sources that feed me, and I, this just doesn't come from me. It couldn't. When you know you're being fed, you're so grateful and humble. 